going into um, overnight it being like negative 30 degrees. Um, so, <laughs> do you know what's lovely though? Every single person I have talked to in the last however long has offered me a place to stay tonight. So. <laughs> Yesterday I went to Canmore to see my chiropractor and I hopped in the pool and fucking did the distance that I need for the Ironman. 3.8k, so that was pretty cool. I've just received in the mail my first ever pair of cycling shorts. They feel weird. <laughs> they feel like I they feel like I have the biggest period pad on. <laughs> I just don't understand if it's meant to be this uncomfortable or not because I'm kind of... <laughs> I also ordered this like cycling outfit. Look at this. Look at this whole get up. Look at that. I look fast, I think. with Kaiba today had a pretty good week did one of my biggest trainings this week 50k bike straight into a 10k run so that was super exciting pretty stoked with that felt really good too my running is definitely not really the distances that I would like to be but I'm just trying to monitor how my back feels <coughs> because it still gets a little jarred and everything gets a bit tight so I'm trying to put more of a focus on running now and just use cycling as a recovery so we'll see how that goes for the next few weeks and I think I need to start making a bit more of a solid plan because so far it's been very much that I'm winging everything and I have no fucking clue if that's a bad idea or not so I guess we will live and learn I think that's this whole experience
that's not nice. I was um, house sitting for three weeks and now I've been about a week now back in the truck and it has been a hard adjustment. I love the truck. I can't say I'm loving it right now. I just feel cold all the time. Things are going well with training, I think. People ask me that and I honestly have no idea. I can't tell you how my training's going because I just don't, I don't know how it's supposed to be going. Yesterday I went for a 60k bike followed by a 5k run, which was one of my bigger workouts that I've done. Uh, I think about a week ago I went 50Ks and 10Ks and it was interesting because yesterday was harder. I ended up pushing myself on the bike quite a lot and I found that transition was like to the run was a lot harder because my body was more shot. This is the airport. This just reminded me of running in Norway with the red buildings in the snow. I just got so happy. <laughs> okay, and this is the most exciting thing about today. Yesterday, I went and picked up my brand new bike. All right, while my floor's dry, this is her. It's a specialized diverge gravel bike. Okay, but I have a funny story. When I was trying it out at the store, I like hopped on and I was taking it for a cruise and I felt so silly because I have never used gears like this. So I didn't know how to use them. So I was literally just like pedaling around and braking and then like, I didn't know anything. I just find that so hilarious that I'm training for a pretty serious triathlon and I don't know how to use gears on a bike. <laughs> okay. And I found these shoes at the op shop for $45. The only thing is I need to take this little clip out, which I've just watched on YouTube, to put my clips on for the pedals. So we'll see how that goes. All right, today is the day. I'm gonna go for my first uh, big cycle on the bike. Well, it's only 40 Ks. I'm gonna try using my clip-in shoes for the first time. So, <laughs> kind of nervous. I don't know how this is gonna go. Don't know how the gears on the bike are gonna go. It's all just, today's a learning day. So I'm kind of excited. loosened the my pedals to the the loosest they can go so it clicks out extremely easily. I actually found clicking in I don't really know how to do that and it's it's fine I think it's gonna take a bit of getting used to but no time like the present. Alright I'm halfway I've just made it to BAMP um, quite a different experience than cycling indoors, obviously. She's nice and muddy, it's her first good ride. There were a couple of patches of snow and that did not go well, but I'm happy with the pedals. I feel like I'm doing well with my clips. I'm gonna try a cola gel. I've never liked these gels. I've really struggled to find something that I, I like these, the chews, but I'm really struggling to find a gel. And I'm back. That was a 
lot of fun. Um, definitely slower than what my indoor cycling has been. I think I averaged 22 k's an hour. So coming home was a bit faster than going there, I think because of the headwind. Um, but the clip-ins were good. I feel like I really got the hang of it. Uh, yeah. I'm going to do a little more fiddling with my seat. So I think I can go up a little bit. I put my seat up halfway through when I got to Banff. And that felt way better. Now you can connect to the positive. 